The results of our study uh, uh, has sort of established uh, uh, a stronger role for personalized cancer vaccine. However, this was a relatively smaller study for 157 patients. So, so Merck and Moderna have collaborated in starting a phase three study later this year, which will be comparing the two drugs in combination versus pembrolizumab and monotherapy in a stage two B or higher melanoma patient in a much broader and, 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 and bigger sample size. So the result that we'll get from that will have much more statistically robust significance. And then in terms of uh, the personalized cancer vaccine, I think the big answer questions uh, still remain where to use this drug and which is the group of patients more likely to benefit. Because if you look at the evidence, there's a certain group of patients, roughly 30-35% of the patient will be cured by surgery alone. And then there will be another 15-20% to of the patient that will be cured by pembrolizumab and monotherapy. And then on top of that, obviously, the, the mRNA vaccine will help certain group of patients. We haven't really uh, sort of nailed that down at this in terms of which are going to be those group of patients. And one other challenge also remains that we saw that in both these groups, whether they were double treatment or monotherapy, they had early relapse in the quite a a significant number of patients early on in the journey. But what the combination demonstrated was it reduced the likelihood of distant relapse at a later stage, presumably related to the growing immunogenicity with this treatment, leading to a stronger anti-tumor immune response and delaying the relapse-free survival and, and, and distant metastasis-free survival.